Hello and welcome. Today I am planning to show you that, that how I check my Toyota Corolla's engine, engines, those uh, defect codes or faulty codes, codes using uh, uh, this laptop. This is very basic standard IBM laptop and this price is something like one or two hundred US dollars and something like 150 euros but this is very durable IBM's those uh, very heavy duty models and, and then when you are planning to to check your car's faulty codes what you need first one is that that you need to purchase some some kind of uh, this uh, reading hardware and I have purchased uh, that kind of ELM327 reader, reader and this is a couple of years old and this costs something like 20 to 30 US dollars and something like 20 or 30 euros and it's very common and you can purchase this from internet and then what you need you need uh, that kind of USB cable where is two two those uh, ends this first one is this normal USB and then this is a little bit different but this is also very common wires and and then then when you install these parts in here then you need to also also you need you need when you have Toyota you need this 16 pin connector and, and that connector we connect to this cars this Toyota's this uh, line and, and this this cable it it, uh, it moves this cars faulty and defect data to that computer and then I have also here a couple of softwares what I like to show you a little bit later and they all of those softwares are free okay but then then I think that that we need to of course I need to show you that where you connect this cable. Okay, and then we then we go to then we go to inside in this car. Okay, and now we are inside in this car, and we really need this cable. What is in here? And we need to connect that cable in somewhere. And you go in this driver's place, and there is this uh, bonnet open. And when we look a little bit down. There is just in there, there is this connector, 16 pin connector and you need to check that how many pins you have and then you need that kind of cable and there are different kind of those cables and I, I am very lucky because this, this 16 pin fits in directly in there and then I, then I push a little bit this, that it is very It should be there in thick then. Oh, I check that. Is this, is this really... Okay, now I think that it is thick then. Okay, and then this cable goes in here. It goes in this line directly to my laptop. And there is this hardware that you need to purchase. And then of course when we then I saw those programs but first of that when we go in back in here cars inside there is important that you turn on your cars po power that there is this uh, this electric is on and these light must be in their own when we start to read those faulty codes 
Okay, and next I saw this those softwares what you need to install in your laptop or then this hardware computer and all of those softwares you can download from internet and even in free. Okay, let's go to look those software softwares. Okay, and here is then this my laptop and I need to turn on it. it And I turn on this laptop. Okay. And then we can see there that there is those uh, couple of softwares. Now it's it's quite difficult to see, but but there is uh, those softwares. They are. First, first software name is it's touch scan and this touch scan is just in there and I, I move my mouse in here and this is like free program that we can test that that program and now I open it and then when this software is now open the first first step is that that you you really connect all of those all of those cables and then there is a click that you need to click that uh, point where is connect and then I connect this in here and then the software start to analyze and everything goes well connecting to Iku and now it's reading vehicle information and then when it, it has read those we check that what are here are pit monitor and I check I, I select this pit monitor and actually uh, sorry it was this diagnostic in, in here in that side diagnostic we diagnostic what is our situation and then trouble codes and I am lucky because this software tells that there are no pending storage or permanent diagnostic trouble codes in this my car's computer okay it's good and if you might have some problems in your sensors or some other area there should be some text and then you can go to fix those items and then there is also area that's freeze frame now it's reading cars data and and it's it told that there is no any storage trouble codes and then we check bit values and this means that when I quite soon start that my car's engine, then we can check this live data information in in our car motors and all things. And and this is very nice to look in this computer. And then there is console and raw data data. And then in here are monitors. And it to told that what kind of things we can test and dashboard. Okay, and there is dashboard that it it measures our cars information. And now I think that that I start this engine because this looks so nice. Okay, now I go to start engine. Okay, and it seems that that this program shows that my RPM is now a little bit 1040, and then I think that we need to check that how, how I can take a little bit kick my gas pedal and what happens. Let's look. Okay, 
and this this really works and then there is also he told to us that what is our fuel consumption gallons and uh, then there is also temperature and it tells that load is something like two percent okay and what other we can see in, in monitor there was that I and then then there is a diagnostic what told that live data all, all the all time this software takes those and, and how about the diagnostic couple codes fridge rain and now now when this uh, there is this diagnostic and this uh, this speed values it, it gives data in here like mass air flow rate and uh, engine coolant level and engine air and you can check also those things if they are useful to you but in, in this program's best thing is that when you check those trouble codes in here and this is the most important thing why you should purchase this program but this check that is there any trouble codes and in some cars you can get really many trouble codes and they might have very difficult to take out but, but in this Toyota cars I have not ever heard that in that car it is difficult to take out Okay, and this was the short, short uh, information of this diagnostic tool and then I think that you might to see also how the system works. There is this ELM system, this hardware, and there is this data linking all time that data is going from car sense information to this laptop. Okay, and this system, how much this system costs? This was something 30 US dollars and laptop was something like 100 euros old IBM. And, that, and then this software, by the way, if you like to use those softwares, there is also some other softwares that I can show to you. There is like car port and let's check this is also free and, and how this car port works now it's starting and now it's it's reading this is like different program and it's now now Carport is searching for OPD hardware and this was this hardware system that that one but is this hardware and now now and now this check situation check okay but this was the message that there is also some other programs what you could purchase and, and by the way this was free but when you purchase that program then you have more of those options and those uh, diagnostic things and this software costs something like 30 to 40 euros per software and they are not very very expensive and then there is also a possibility that if you don't like to use that kind of pro programs you can go to car repair job and and um, and they can check also this uh, this uh, test and they they cost something like 50 euros and and this is also 
plan free scan tool program. What what I have now it's it's told that I have some some problems in my setup. But uh, this was the information how you can analyze by self this car data and and fix your car. Okay, and thank you for watching.